Welcome to 9017 vlog number three. Today uh, is a very special day because we get to meet intern Calvin. Calvin's in the building. Now what is our transition to you? In the building. I did it. Calvin Bader. I did it. Well, welcome, Calvin. Yeah. Today's your first day. <laughs> Not really. Uh, <laughs> it's your... Um, it's my third day. Fourth day. Fourth day? Thursday, Friday. It's Tuesday. Monday, it? Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so it's your fourth day in the building. Um, so you're going to be here for the summer doing various things. We'll get into that later. Um, I know, but maybe for other people, why don't you just share a little bit about your background, who you are, and uh, where you come from. Sure. Yeah, so I'm Calvin Bader. I'm actually from this town, Marshall, and I am a digital media student. I'm studying digital media production at Dort University in Sioux Center, Iowa, and I'm minoring in marketing. Um, I have done quite a few videos. I've made quite a few videos in my past, and I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, but this summer, I I thought I'd try some some marketing stuff. And Max is a great guy, and I, I think I did a couple projects with you before. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah, but I um, it's a little bit about me. Uh, I love thinking about Oreos and eating Oreos. Yep. Like my favorite snack. Can confirm that is true. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've also made some videos about Oreos. A video, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And my, my, my future dream is to just have a pile of Supreme Oreos piled around me. Yeah. And um, I also love disc golfing. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, I'm super pumped to have you here for the summer. Um, so obviously, uh, we'll be doing a bunch of different, um, sort of marketing, exercises i mean you, you have kind of some awareness to like there'll be some things in web development probably learning some things around seo um one of the skill sets that you already have that uh you're bringing as a huge value to 917 is um, your skills in video and audio so that's you know stuff like this and helping to produce some of the long form content shows like the ride pot rise podcast we're going to launch another podcast that we talked about soon and then any of the um, client content shows that come in as well so you're you're producing those and then post producing them so that's super awesome mm -hmm. um yeah what, what else are you looking to get out of this summer what do you what do you want from me or 9017 yeah so uh this summer um in when i was searching for a job i was really kind of looking for more of the marketing side of video creation um, I feel I understand how to make videos well enough um, and I kind of wanted more of the marketing exposure mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of more of what I'd like to do in the future, the marketing side. Um, and I, I think what you're doing here is great and I'd, I'd love to um, I'd learn from you. Um, like a, lot, a lot of the things that we've done already in the <laughs> first four days I haven't done much of myself. Sure. Um, but like, I think even working with you, I could still grow in my video skills because I'll be doing things that I haven't done in the past. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you're gonna help me with a lot is obviously I still have my um, full-time job, which is fairly demanding. I wanna be able to do things on the 9017 side. Um, and so that's kind of gonna be your zone to um, help facilitate and kind of manage things uh, over there to kind of give me the the margin to be able to do both so I think a lot of experience I think uh, running some of those like client relationships and things like that mm -hmm. um, hopefully we get there th this summer I think we will but uh, again what do I know it's not like I've ever done this before <laughs> uh, yeah we're gonna grow together yeah yeah how, how do you learn? Are you, do you, are you a reader or you listen to podcasts or you just like test and learn, try things out? I like doing things. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, 
I'm not much of a reader. I hate just listening to things, mm -hmm. unless it's music, but I'm usually doing something along with it. So I, I like doing things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of how you figured out most of like your video stuff, because you were already uh, pretty good at video before you went to college. Right. You were already yeah. doing like weddings and some internships and some uh, just like fun creative projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. jump in there and, and solve it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. One of my uh, so one of my video classes at school at Dort. It's an advanced editing class, and I I think I learned a little bit in that class, but I didn't learn a whole lot because we didn't actually do anything. A lot like most of the assignments mm -hmm. were reading through this book on how to edit. Yeah, and we didn't actually do any editing. Yeah, so I I really not a fan of that. Yeah. That would be my critique on, uh, like, I don't want to bash on like higher education in general, but I would just say, and, and I'm the complete opposite of it, right? I have no structure. Higher education is, is over indexed structure to the point where, uh, it's not, it's, it's losing its practicality, right? You're just, you're, you're studying like concepts and ideas and theories. Um, if you're not actually getting your hands on things and, and trying things out, then it's just like, I don't know if I'm really even getting this. Um, and usually I feel like students aren't getting it because when you try to learn something, uh, like you talked about, like, you, you aren't you certified in like Google AdWords or something? But mm -hmm. when I asked you if you know how to use it, you were like, uh, <laughs> conceptually, I don't, didn't like actually make any, uh, but I know I'm, I'm certified in it. Uh, that's just like wild to me. It's like, you know, and, Understanding uh, the idea of something versus like understanding how to do it is like two different things. Yeah. Um, and I feel like it's almost a disservice to, it is a disservice to students to not have them like actively trying and potentially failing at things. You know, like mm -hmm. there should be a budget set aside at college for you to be able to have pointless AdWords campaigns that are not for anything, you know, and like if they fail, it doesn't really matter, but at least you're like real dollars on a real platform, um, trying it out. I didn't really thrive that well in college. I think I was like a C, that might be optimistic, like a C minus <laughs> student. Um, but you know, I, I was smart enough, certainly, but I think some of my professors were, are genuinely surprised at where I am in life. Uh, I, w I would guess a couple of them, like a, I have an old marketing professor that I would consider as a, a decent friend. And I think to her, I was like an, a bit of an oddball student that like sat in the back and like didn't really do much and didn't really engage and get great, great grades. I think the fact that I uh, am like a director of marketing now, like a real company and own like a digital marketing agency, I think that really blows her mind. Like, how did this kid do this? This doesn't, this doesn't make, this kid does not have that kind of potential. Uh, but I just think, yeah, it's just different. It's college just doesn't fit everyone the same way, but mm -hmm. now that it's not worth it, I'm not trying to talk you out of not going back. You should go back. You need to finish it. I don't want to get in trouble with your parents, but <laughs> Uh, it's a last good year. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. Just finish it. Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, better get back to it. Yeah. We got lots to do.